<laughs> hey guys, Marley and I are up in the mountains. We're filming for a few different projects. We're gonna be up here for a couple days and I thought I'd put together a short little video for you guys just to give you some tips on getting some photos of your air guns or really anything in general. Um, you know, I've kind of been doing this for a long time. I've learned a little. I'm by no means a photography expert. I'm by no means, you know, perfect at, at what I do. But I can offer you at least some tips on a few things that I've learned to hopefully better the photographs that you guys take. You know, if you're going to be posting on forums, you know, on Facebook, on Instagram, I figured I'd just offer you guys a few little tips and a few examples of really what can be done with just a little experimenting and just try to be creative. Now I'm up here for the next couple days. I'm, I'm filming, I'm photographing for a few projects. And one of the biggest mistakes that I made when I was new to this was really kind of picking the right light setup and really kind of finding a background that was somewhat appealing. Now, not every background is gonna be great. You know, sometimes you guys might be, you know, forced to use your backyard or, you know, even in your house. Um, the main thing that I've learned is at least try to have some light source that's coming, you know, towards the back side of the camera. Whether you're using a DSLR or even your phone. Now, a lot of what I'm gonna tell you is what you're gonna find with, you know, a DSLR or a higher end camera. And a lot of the really good photos that you're gonna see that I get are from using my DSLR on manual focus. And what that means is I can really kind of uh, capture the subject, you know, whether it be myself, um, whether it be the, the product, you know, it could be a gun, it could be really anything. Um, you really want to capture the audience with that particular product. In other words, if you have pretty much everything in focus, similar to like we have now, um, you're not really zoned in on that particular product. And so I like to use the manual focus and I can really fine tune the picture quality on that particular product. And in this case, it'll be one of these air guns. And so what I'll do is I'll set it out. You know, like I said, you want the sun, you want the light source kind of coming from behind the camera. And that's gonna give you a nice uh, picture on the the actual gun here uh, you got you're able to see everything you know with light you can see all the details and then what I'll do is I'll move the camera back usually depending on the situation um, you know I'll have it back about 10 or 15 feet and then I, I use my zoom zoom in on it and I'll manual focus and what that does is it gets the, the background kind of all blurred out and it really draws your attention to the subject, which in this case is the air gun. So this would be a really good example of, you know, it's, it's a fairly good picture, but the problem is the gun is too dark. You really just can't see the details. And it's just not a very good picture. It'll work, but you're gonna have to do a lot of editing and you're gonna really have to brighten it up and add some more light. And so what we're going to do to cure that is we'll move the gun. This is not a very good position. You can see it's placed in a shadow. And so we'll move the gun back, you know, a couple of feet into the light and see what kind of difference that makes. Now you can see the gun has a good amount of light on it. You're able to see most all the details and the background is somewhat blurred out which is what I usually like in a photograph. I usually like the background kind of blurred out. And like I said, I'm able to do that with the manual focus um, to where I'm able to get the background kind of out of focus. And that's usually what most professionals are gonna do when they're out doing any kind of photography work. So while that picture came out pretty nice, you know, it was nice and clear. In my opinion, it's just kind of boring. Um, you know, it's a basic photograph, definitely shows the gun, um, you know, it's good quality, but it's boring. And so I want to find something that's going to kind of give it a little more pizzazz, 
And so what I'll usually do is I'll try to find a log, you know, something with a nice background. And it's usually an area that's really open where I don't really have any trees or bushes directly behind it. Because again, I really want to get the background kind of blown out. And so I'll give you guys another example um, of what I would do to make the picture have a little bit more pizzazz. So you guys can see I got this gun on a log here and it's really nothing special, but there is a good light source on it. I am able to see all the details. And now it really kind of comes down to the angle that you take the photograph. Now, we're not using film here, we're using digital cameras. And so we've got a lot of space on that memory card. And so I'm never afraid to take more than I need. And in a lot of cases, I'll take 4K video and I'm able to crop that down and really kind of pan through and really see that, that part of the picture that I really want to keep and I'll snapshot it. Um, so that's not something that I realize everybody can do. Um, but you can do the same thing, you know, with your, your phone. I know iPhone has some great uh, camera apps to where you can really make a lot of adjustments. Uh, the smartphones have really come a long way in the past couple years as far as the quality in which they're able to take photos. And so I'll just give you guys kind of a few examples of different angles that you can do that kind of give the photo a little bit more character. So really the biggest thing that I'm really trying to get you to take away from this is don't be afraid to try different angles. You know, a picture, you know, that's boring, straight on. Um, you know, might not look good, but if you change that angle, all of a sudden, you know, an okay picture becomes a great one. And so that's just kind of my advice to you guys. You know, don't be afraid to experiment. Don't be afraid to take a lot of photographs. You can always erase them and just kind of go through and see what you like. Um, that's kind of what I've done. That's what's worked for me. And uh, just have some fun with it. So the next time you post to Instagram or Facebook, um, you know, or the forums, you know, you'll have something that you can be proud of and that's going to look just a little more professional. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you were able to learn a little and we'll talk to you soon.